Hi, my name is Bruce Bolger, and I'm founding uh, director of the Brand Media Coalition, which is a group of leading brands and master fulfillment companies uh, educating corporate America on the power of brands and engagement technologies. And in these programs, we introduce you in very quick six minute or so meetings as if you were at a trade show with the CEOs of leading suppliers and solutions in this field that you can bring to your clients or corporations can benefit from to engage people across the enterprise. Today, we're uh, gonna be meeting with uh, Carlton One Engagement, probably one of the largest worldwide suppliers of technology and rewards. Um, products including Global Reward Solutions, the Evergrow Employee Engagement, the ESG platform, Power to Motivate for Enterprise Engagement, and the Cart Employee uh, Benefit platform. And we have with us today Rob uh, uh, Purdy. He's the founder and CEO who's going to take us through uh, his business very quickly. Thanks a lot for joining us, Rob. Yeah, thanks, yeah, so, thanks much. so much. So, Rob, quickly tell us, what do you do? <laughs> uh, we're a technology company really at heart and build uh, technology across a number of different platforms, but it really all funnels off of one core nucleus. Um, we, you, know, you can see by the mantra that we're really a company about making work mean more. Uh, and we distribute our technology through a global network of uh, business partners that really help us to get to market uh, and meet a lot of organizations around the world. Uh, we have over today uh, several thousand customers and, and multi-millions of members uh, using our platform on a daily basis. Um, and these support your rewards, recognition, savings, wellness. You cover every area, area of engagement. We do, uh, including even loyal, consumer loyalty and uh, sales incentive uh, programs as well. So tell us about your different products. Yeah, thank you. Um, we, we built our first product in 2006 called Power to Motivate. It's an enterprise recognition platform uh, that was followed in 2010 with Global Reward Solutions. And that is a, um, a product that really encapsulates reward delivery around the world. Uh, we ship rewards on a daily basis to more than 110 countries uh, every day. We're shipping uh, millions of orders every month. Uh, and these orders are, we allow companies to basically distribute rewards, whether it's merchandise, gift cards, travel services and solutions, uh, you know, mobile top up, all of these things are encapsulated into one single platform uh, with an easy connect um, API as well. Evergrow is uh, our most recent uh, launch with, it's a small medium business recognition platform. It has a very strong focus around equal action. We're really about creating purpose in what we do as an organization. And we added to the Evergrow platform and all our platforms, a new product called Cart, which is our shop and save product. We consider that to be a member benefit uh, as part of all of our programs. And Cart enables me as an employee to go in and shop the world of all your merchandise and get and buy, you know, basically very valued prices. And even I believe there's a credit. Um, you can even get a credit line on that of some kind, uh, Rob. Yeah, you do get, in fact, the ability to um, you know, buy now, pay later. There's a, a micro loan capability that's set up. And in North America, you can also extend that out to um, you know, one, two or three year uh, payment options as well. Uh, it's also subsidized by us. Uh, so the loan rates are actually extremely competitive. So essentially, you're creating a PX for America's employees. That's a great, great thing, Rob. So tell us the unique features. One of the things I've intrigued that is that you really do appear to have an enterprise engagement approach that you can address the critical levers of engagement on one platform. Kind of explain this, please. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what we really do is consolidate every uh, piece of capability up into what we call a multi-experience platform. Um, and by that, what we mean is you can launch a program across any stakeholder group, whether it's an internal group, uh, you can break it up by department, you can then launch a program across all sales teams, both internal, external teams, and ultimately uh, even to end customers and creating loyalty programs. Uh, and each of those programs can be customized and you can create multiple views or windows. Uh, so each subgroup or, or department can have actually very well-defined programs within their own department that are different potentially to the corporate program um, as a whole. Uh, so this creates a lot of capability. Uh, and again, we provide AI personalization in there. So artificial intelligence, 
tracks all the activity of the human behavior, ultimately feeding back that data. And then we use that uh, with management to create, uh, you know, again, uh, the ability to send out notifications and encourage people uh, to do more, do great things, uh, help the business along. But at the same time, also sending them reward options based on shopping patterns uh, for things that they have shown an interest in uh, in their travels within our site as well. We also include health and wellness, which is a really important component within our platform. Uh, we talked about financial services earlier, but that's a key point. Uh, we have pulse surveys. Uh, we have a community page where people can share information, not only within the organization they work for, but across multiple organizations. Uh, we talk about things like our eco action program and share results of other organizations and how they're doing more to help you uh, help uh, again solve climate change. Um, so we, this really is an ESG, excuse me, wrong slide. Uh, this really is an ESG engine. You've, you've, it, it appears that you've created a platform to support the S of ESG, and, which is increasingly being called stakeholder capitalism. So what kind of metrics can you provide? You know, a lot of companies are going to have to start reporting on employee turnover, wellness, uh, what type of, and even diversity, equity, and inclusion. What kind of data can you provide company with your reporting, uh, Rob? Yeah, well, we have a really robust reporting solution. We've just rebuilt the entire platform. Uh, it currently has about 140 uh, reports that are pre-built, uh, but they can also be layered and customized based on what a client requires. Uh, when you talk about tracking sustainability, diversity, uh, again, the entire workforce metric, all those things can be tracked within our system. Again, provided we're getting access to that data from our clients, which more often than not we do. Uh, and we can build that into, again, graphical dashboards that you know, will be there for all of the management teams. And more importantly, for the employees, uh, the employees get to see their own dashboard, how their own metrics are doing and how they stack up against their company uh, goals and objectives. Uh, and that's really the purpose of our programs is to keep the goals and objectives of the company front and center with the employees and make that part of everyday work life uh, at every organization we work with. And that really is the rewards at the end of the day. It's it's a return on investment of the company. Could you just give us a little bit of um, uh, of the type of ROI that companies can accomplish if they design and implement a program properly? Yeah, I mean, we've tracked, um, you know, increases in sort of lower double digit. Typically, we're always getting some formal double digit achievement, but we've also seen some pretty significant numbers in the you know, 30, 40% range where you look at employee retention rates, where you look at uh, the cost benefit of not having to hire uh, people in a high turnover environment and retrain, uh, and you pack package those costs up, they're pretty significant. On the sales side, again, we uh, track and measure all of the sales metrics, and we can show again ROI on terms of selling more goods and services uh, out into the marketplace using our programs as well. Same thing applies to consumer loyalty because we are able to build and track metrics around loyalty. Uh, which helps people immensely to know, you know how their uh, most valued, who their most valued customers are, and how to reach them, and, and really what messaging are they most prone uh, to responding to as well. So at the end of the day, this is all about ROI, powering engagement across the enterprise, having a seamless experience, potentially tying all of your different stakeholders. And finally, that CART concept of having every company being able to have its own private exchange for employees. Uh, Rob, um, you guys are doing impressive work. So Rob, how do people contact you? Yep, you can reach us at carlcom1.com. Well, there you go. Well, thank you very much, Rob, for your time today. And uh, we'll be sharing this throughout the year with people who wanna learn more about you, but don't have time to get on, a, on the plane for a trade show. Thanks again. Thanks very much, Bruce, I appreciate it.